everybody, Ninja X the Enlightened Gamer here. Welcome back to the show. Last time on X, we finished off Ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. And let's play, let's limit Ratchet and Clank. It was a good time, it was a fun time, and there was a reason for me playing that game after Twilight Princess and Pokemon Blue. A reason that I'm going to discuss after the big reveal for the new game. If you're curious about the inner workings of this channel and about how I schedule X, as well as side and vlogs, stick around because I will explain almost everything. I still have one secret I want to hold on to until after this Let's Play. But on to the reveal. I decided that I'd make a little game out of it this time, because the last couple of announcements have just been that, announcements. And I am going to tell you what the game is, but I gave you guys a hint at the end of Ratchet and Clank. For those of you who weren't there to listen, the hint was, this is a game from a UK developer. So that hint is now in place. It's up there. And I'm not going to take it down until, I, until the reveal is over. A UK developer. Now the way this game is going to work is when you guys have an idea of what you think the game will be, I want you to pause the video, go down to the comment section, and type it in. This will be fun, trust me. A little weird, but fun. So that's the first hint. After, telling, after exposing the hint, I will hold up my hand like this for a three count. During that time is the best time to pause the video. Okay. UK developer. Not really a lot to go off of yet. There's a lot of good UK developers out there. Okay, the second hint. This game is rated M for Mature. My very first M for Mature rated game here on the channel. Twilight Princess was T, Pokemon was E, and Ratchet and Clank was also T. Viva Pinata is E, and Tiny Tank was T. Mm, Tiny Tank. And that's all we've done so far, so this is the very first M-rated game. Is it coming together for some of you guys? Do any of you have any idea? Have you figured it out yet? Sorry, I get a bit, I'm a bit dyslexic and I get a bit confused, so I'm seeing where these windows are going to pop up. The third hint. This game is for the original Xbox. Meaning this is also my second Microsoft game, first Microsoft game, on X. You guys got some ideas? There's a couple of games within these categories that I can think of. Original Xbox, UK developer, M for Mature. Alright, the final hint before the demo reel begins. Sorry, still dyslexic. The final hint. This is an RPG. Yeah. Be honest, a couple of you guys were thinking it was Conker's Bad Fur Day. 
because that fits all of the categories. A game that's commonly let's played, a game that I've referenced before in a few vlogs and episodes of various let's plays, that was remade for the classic Xbox by Rareware, a UK company, and is very M for Mature, almost beyond that rating. This is your final chance to guess if you haven't.
my fourth X Let's Play on the channel will be Fable The Lost Chapters. Now, really quick, I wanted to address something. The reason I'm playing this game is to show how I handle morality whenever the option is presented. I am selfless. I am a hero type. It's very rare that I will act out of malice or vengeance. It does happen. I'm not flawless. But I prefer to pursue good, to pursue justice, without need for vengeance or bloodlust or hatred. I definitely have plenty of anger, but hatred is something I don't typically feel. So, how are you going to tackle this, Ninjo? Fable's a, a really big game. Bigger than Pokemon in terms of length of a play session. This Let's Play, I fully expect to be longer than my Let's Play of Pokemon Blue and Twilight Princess. In fact, I would be surprised if I wasn't done, if I was done at a hundred episodes. So, I am going to issue a bit of a personal challenge on this one. This challenge won't necessarily make the game easier or harder. It'll just give me a give me a guideline as how to play. I'm going to be front right now with you guys. I am going to play as a hero. I am going to play for the side of good. I am going to be Ninjo X, Paragon of Fable, and the Lost Chapter. Now, this Let's Play did come with a bit of a complication. I didn't know when I was planning this, but apparently the music was composed by Danny Elfman. And not somebody who does exclusively game music. A famous composer. Certainly nowhere near as renowned as somebody like John Williams. but. He does a very good job with this game's music, so I was faced with a choice. Either no game audio in a game that's very story-driven, very atmospherically driven, and very dialogue-driven, with an excellent soundtrack, or B, don't monetize the video. So I think I've come up with a compromise. Starting on, looking at my calendar, cheating, 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 cheating. Starting on the 8th, when this Let's Play will officially begin, I will... words. On the 8th, when this Let's Play officially begins, I will be opening up a tip jar for this channel. So if you guys want to support the channel, you can feel free to give a tip. The tip jar will lead you to a request video where you can ask me to do something in, my, in, my, in a current Let's Play or where I can reveal something in the works for the channel. My comment will only be up for 24 hours before I delete it, so if you want, well, if it's a reveal. So loose lips sink ships. I'm letting you guys into the inner circle, if you choose to support me further than you already do. Which would be, obviously, purely extra. But how am I going to tackle this game as a whole? Now that I've revealed that I'm going to play the music and I'm going to let all the dialogue sound, I'm probably going to keep the volume at about a minus 10 on my editor, which is how I did the finale for Ratchet and Clank and a lot of the footage for Mind of Ninja 3.
I'm going to complete this game without straying from my alignment. 30 silver keys opening 12 silver key chests. All set, all, well, all but two of the demon doors, because two demon doors do require you to be evil. Odd, none of them require you to be good. Maybe Lionhead's a little bit biased. And maybe that'll show up in their, in Fable 2 and 3. Spoiler alert! It does! Annoyingly so! To the point of sheer stupidity! Sorry! Okay. For those of you who've stuck around this long, it's time for me to finally reveal the structure of X. And the structure of this channel. This channel is very organized in its three individual categories. X, Side, and Enlightened Vlogs. An X will be uploaded every single Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Every single one. Since I switched to this format, I haven't missed a single one. Even if I was going to do something that would require extra time to grind, normally the extra time available, the extra day off or the day where I upload side is more than sufficient to record. And speaking of recording, I stay two weeks ahead. But that's not just in X. At least not anymore. That two weeks is six episodes of X, two sides, and two vlogs. In fact, you know what? You guys are already here. I'm going to take you to Command Central. I'm doing this. Sorry, it's a bit blurry, a bit out of balance. This is what I've done so far as of this recording for March. You can see the X's here. The sides get uploaded every Tuesday and vlogs get uploaded every Thursday, except for Mind of Ninja, which one of every five vlogs is a Mind of Ninja. So it's just a little bit less than once a month. And the reason for that is that Mind of Ninjo has a freakish level of preparations and production time compared to other things. So usually, I want it to be far away from the other stuff. While a vlog, sorry, I'm trying to get the camera resituated. While an enlightened vlog typically only takes a few minutes to record. but onto the individuals themselves. Side, every single Let's Play uploaded to Side is cyclical. And it's complete, and that cycle is ignorant to X and ignorant to Enlightened Vlogs. I already explained Enlightened Vlogs, it's very simple. For X, however, things get a bit more convoluted. First, the first, the first X is organized into seasons and series. Seasons being a collection of five series. The first of which is what I call my token big. Now the big is a let's play where I go all out. On research, on editing time, on special effects, banners. The big also is where I produce my artwork. And I don't produce the artwork myself. My friend Jason produces that artwork. And the link to his business is in the description to every single video for X. I greatly appreciate the support. I'm glad we have a working relationship. As of this recording, he should have just got started on season two's artwork.
I'm going to avoid spoilers for season two because we're still a ways away if this is any indication based off of playing Fable. Okay. That's the big. After the big are three smalls. And they're small in name only. Smalls are games that I really like and that I've found great depth in. Depth enough to be on X instead of on side. But they typically don't receive as much effort in terms of the editing process. They don't get their own artwork. And because of that, there's more of them. Three smalls. This is the third small of season one. I know what some of you are thinking. You're getting on the edge of your seats. You're wondering, what's the fifth one going to be? What's the fifth one going to be? What's it going to be, Ninja? That's my secret. The fifth secret project will be neither a big nor a small, nor related to side or enlightened vlogs in any way. As far as Ninjo Token goes and the holiday specials, they just kind of squirm their way in at their appropriate time. But that's the structure for X. If you were curious, that's how I handle it. And by trying to stay not so drastically ahead of schedule anymore, only six episodes with the exception of a vacation I'm taking in June, flying out to Kansas, going to visit my family a little bit. My brain stopped. <laughs> That's great. That's great. No, it's actually pretty funny. But I'm going to be flying out to Kansas in June. And so for those 2.3 weeks that I'm away, I will be substantially ahead of schedule. That vacation starts on June 12th. I will still upload every single day on that schedule unless something drastic happens, in which case I will create an announcement video to warn you guys. But that's still a little ways away. And I'm doing this because I realize some of you guys want to be able to make requests, want to be able to give advice, and want to be able to interact with me more in the actual videos, which because of my bulk recordings is something I haven't been able to do. It's a double-edged sword, and producing YouTube content, there is no surefire answer. Some people make uh, commentary windows work. Other people work better outside of that system. Some people record and upload in bulk. And other people record and upload day by day. They both have their benefits. The benefit is interactivity. By uploading day by day, they're able to stay involved with the process of their Let's play, keep it fresh in their mind, and ask the fans to what, what they should do next. But the, the drawback is that there's no safety net. And if you get sick, or if you get injured, or something goes wrong and your recording equipment breaks, then you just have to not release any content for several weeks. I've seen that happen to too many Let's Players to let it happen to myself. And so the drawback is the opposite. I have a huge safety net. And even if something does break, I can supplement with vlogs, I can supplement with episodes of Side, I can 
do things to fill in the gaps if the safety net were to be completely depleted. But anyways, that's the truth, the whole truth except for my secret fifth project. I hope you guys enjoy your day. I hope you're excited for Fable. It's not a game that gets Let's Played very often because of the copyright restraint constraints and the size of the game. I hope you all will forever stay enlightened. Hello everybody, NinjoX here. Thanks for sticking through the entire video and getting to this segment. This is the pre-outro and I'm going to change it up with images from the game but because this is the final small of the first season I thought I would reveal the name of this season and also just link some link my previous projects I'm gonna link all three of the X Let's Plays that have come for, from this season before this episode, as well as the side which saw the most episodes. In this case, that would be Viva Pinata. Uh, I'm really happy with the way this season's turned out. It was my first, so there were some rough waters, but I think it turned out pretty good in the end. Anyways, this season's name is the Season of Variety. The purpose of this season wasn't to have a single defined purpose, but to be a buffet where new viewers could sample various different styles of Let's Plays that I might do in the future. And it's true, we only touch certain dishes. There are still some things we haven't experienced. We still haven't experienced a true retro game. We still haven't experienced a new game. We still haven't experienced a lot of things. We're only about to experience our first M-rated game. And while I don't play M-rated games all that often, and when I do, the commentary will still likely be fairly tame, I just wanted to express my thanks for you guys for helping this channel to grow, for being here, and to give you an opportunity to see where we've come from. I hope you enjoy the rest of the season of Variety, and stay tuned to the next one. As I've already said, stay enlightened.